What is going on guys? Welcome to your 30th Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use parameters to convert it to a dictionary. Now last time I showed you guys how to take parameters in a function and convert it to a tuple. But tuples can't do a whole lot and dictionaries can. And sometimes you just can't use a tuple where you can use a dictionary and vice versa. So in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to use an asterisk and how to make that parameters a tuple so in this tutorial let me uh, build a sample shopping cart and instead of one asterisk you actually use two to convert it to a dictionary so let's go ahead and put some items in there uh, since you don't know how many yet it doesn't matter all you have to do is put two asterisks or asterisks I don't know how you say it and let Python do the work for you so all we want to do is print out items and now we got a function called cart and any items we put in the cart it gets converted to a dictionary so again let's go ahead and put our cart and you don't have a single um, item each a dictionary remember it has an item and a value so that's what you need for each parameter um, so instead of just putting apples you need to put apples equals four because that's how many apples you want and in your dictionary this gets treated as the item and this gets treated as the value so um, go ahead and put peaches equals six and uh, beef equals sixty we're hungry this time so now once you go ahead and press enter it should print out a dictionary that gives you the values I mean excuse me the items and the values for each one in dictionary format so that is how you can use double asterisks or asterisks in your uh, function parameter to get a um, what's it called a dictionary instead of a tuple. So again, I showed you guys that you can combine a tuple with ordinary parameter types in the last one, but you can also combine um, a tuple, ordinary parameter types, and a dictionary as well. So say you wanted to build, um, let's say, what can we build? we can define a profile and let's see this isn't going to make a whole lot of sense but let's say you wanted someone's first name and last name which are ordinary parameter types you also wanted the ages of the girls they dated and also what they want to eat <laughs> I know not the very most useful thing but trust me it'll show you uh, the example so the first thing you want is a first name and last name those are only going to take one parameter each. As you can see, there are no asterisks on these ones. The next thing we want is a tuple of all the girls they dated. This only takes one um, argument, so that's ages. And again, with so asterisks, you can have as many as you want. And after this, you want items that they want to eat. I don't know what this would be useful for. Maybe a uh, uh, it won't be useful for anything now that I'm thinking of it but trust me it'll show you guys what I need to show you so let's go ahead and print first and last name uh, print the ages and also print the items that they want to eat and now when we um, call our function we need to enter an unlimited number of information the first thing we need to do is enter our first name which is Bucky our last name which is Roberts or at least that's mine and now this will take up the first two parameters since there is set value of one first and last now the numbers you enter after this is the ages so let's go ahead and enter 32 40 uh, whatever just gonna missed one right here 76 so again if you're wondering alright how does your computer I know it tells this because it's a single value and then it automatically goes to this because it's a tuple but how does it know when the tuple ends and the dictionary begins well this is due to its built-in syntax of that equal sign so let's go ahead and put um, bacon equals four and once it sees you're using an equal sign it says alright this equal sign can't be used in a tuple so it must be used in a dictionary so these I'm throwing in for the first two since they were a set value you can only enter one for each these are going to be the tuple since they don't have an equal sign and this does have an equal sign so it must be dictionary so bacon equals four um, sausage equals 64 and that's good enough for now let's go ahead and press enter and as you can see 
when it printed out the first and last name, it saw the first two parameters. When it printed out the tuple, it saw all the ones that weren't equal to each other or didn't have an equal sign in it. And again, the syntax, the double stars for the items, it saw it as a dictionary. And anytime you're using a dictionary in your parameters, you need the equal sign. So that is how it knew that this was a dictionary and how to convert it to a dictionary. So a lot of the times it's going to be useful to split these things up. And um, a lot of the times it's actually going to be useful to throw them together. So that is how you use one function with a bunch of different parameter types. Since um, a regular parameter type, a tuple parameter, and also a dictionary parameter. So that is how you can combine them all in one function. Uh, it seems confusing now. And we probably won't be doing anything this complex in the future. But I had to show you guys that it was able to combine them all. So hopefully you understand this at least a little bit. If you don't, don't worry. I'll clear things up for you soon enough. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my next tutorial in Python. And uh, I will see you then.